Our area's most beautiful properties deserve the finest realtors. Meeks Realty Group. We focus on buying and selling residential and commercial properties throughout the tri-state area. Contact Meeks Realty Group online at meeks.us or call 304-440-1101. The views and opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of 580 WCHS, its employees, or WVRC Media. From the studios of WVRC Media, the country, the United States of America, the state, West Virginia, the city, Charleston, this is the Dave Allen Show on 580 Live. And your host. What we've got here is failure to communicate. He's kind of a big deal. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Dave Allen. And a good Thursday morning to you from the Parmar Store Studio. It's Dave Allen's show, 580 Live. Ryan Nicholson is our producer today. Bigly Piggly Wiggly Hotline, 304-345-5858. Ruth Pharmacy Text, 304-935-5008. Show brought to you in part by Thornhill Auto Group. Get ready to make the holidays bright. This year in a brand new Ford with your name on it. Drive on down to Thornhill Ford uh, on the Thornhill Motor Mile in Chamberville. Slide into the driver's seat of a cutting-edge Ford SUV or a new F-150. Click or come by thornhillford.net or on the Thornhill Motor Mile, as I said, US-119 in Chapmanville. And we do the show from the Parmar Stores studio. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Parmar invites you out to Buffalo Wild Wings in Cross Lane tonight for Wally and Wimpy's Night starting at 6. Lots of fun. Giveaways, WVU Marshall tickets and more. Wally Wimpy's Night tonight. Buffalo Wild Wings Cross Lane starting at 6 with Wally and Whippies, the premier football publication in West Virginia and Parmar. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Uh, coming up on the show today, a little bit later on, we'll be joined by Republican strategist Greg Thomas. He's got a whole lot to talk about with uh, all of the there's polling numbers that have come out about the governor's race and about the Senate race. Joe Manchin is out now. We're going to get Greg Thomas's uh, take on that coming up a little bit later on. Also, Chad Prather from Huntington Banks is going to be stopping by. We've got a partnership going on with WVRC Media, our parent company, and Huntington Banks as it has to do with the Special Olympics. We're going to talk to Chad about that a little bit later on. But before we get to all that, if you have driven around uh, past our palatial estate uh, here at 1111 Virginia Street East in Charleston. You have seen that uh, we got all the vans out on the parking lot and we got a lot of our folks out on the parking lot as well uh, And because we are doing our first annual turkey drop trying to uh, collect some uh, frozen uh, turkeys or monetary donations for those in need this holiday season. They got to kind of put this whole thing together from our sister station 96.1 KWS's Rob Real. Robert, good morning. How are you? Now, we're not going to get Rob going down the mountain. We don't have any money going down the mountain. Got morons on my... Sorry, it's Strother Martin in the intro, and it's just been stuck in my head. Uh, yes. And there's not a lot of call for me to get to do my Strother Martin uh, impersonation. Only on this show can you do the Strother Martin impersonation. Morons on my team. Uh, <laughs> yes, I take the blame for uh, putting all this together. Um, the uh, very first WVRC media turkey drop with the Bigly Piggly Wiggly. We are gathering frozen turkeys. That's it. I, there are all sorts of other food drives that do non-perishable food items, and those are great. Mm-hmm. I, I appreciate, we support them all. I appreciate every single person who donates to every single one of those. But the hardest thing to do, the most expensive thing to get for a holiday meal is the meat. It is the turkey. Mm-hmm. And so this is an idea that um, I, I had seen in some other forms in some other places I've worked, and I thought, you know what? I think our friends and neighbors in West Virginia would love to help our friends and neighbors in need this holiday season. So we are uh, gathering up frozen turkeys. It's I mean, it's that simple. Mm-hmm. Just frozen turkeys. Yeah. We have a few parting gifts for maybe if you uh, swing through our uh, drive through setup here at 1111 Virginia Street East. Uh, thank you to Chick-fil-A in Southridge and on in South Charleston on McCorkle Avenue. Uh, we've got some uh, art and craft fair passes, I think. we got some fun stuff. But it's not really about that. No. It's about the feel good of helping your friends and neighbors uh, just swing by with a frozen turkey. We'll take it right from You don't have to get out of your vehicle. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll just we'll load it right up, and we will get it to the people who need it. This and we started season. at six a.m. this morning. Matt Guitar Murphy's been kind of manning things out there. The rest of us been going out as as best we can, and we'll be there till six o'clock tonight. Mm-hmm. And I just happened to be uh, out there this morning when a gentleman uh, pulled in on his way to work and heard about it. And I asked if I said, uh, you know, I, I didn't even get his name. I believe I, his I, name was Dave too. Wasn't well, it? all good people are named Dave. I asked him if I could. We should hire him because we have eight thousand <laughs> other people named Dave in this company. We asked. 
ask him, we give him a job application. But I asked him, I said, you know, can we take your picture? And that's the picture if you go to my social media that you'll see with mm-hmm. Rob and this gentleman out there. Uh, he really wasn't about taking it. I mean, he, he agreed to do it. He said, well, that's not really why I'm here. Yeah. I appreciate that because that not everybody has to have their face out in everything when it comes to charitable yes. things. This gentleman agreed to do it for us, yes. but uh, that's what this is all about. That's why I always say, Rob, whether it's your station, whether it's my station, mm-hmm. you know, all the others in the building, we have the greatest listeners in the world here. I am, uh, I am blessed to be part of the nine percent who loves what I do for a living, mm-hmm. and everything in life is a trade off. I get to do all sorts of cool stuff, be backstage at concerts, every sporting event you can imagine. I've had the opportunity to cover. I've met a lot of really cool people. The trade off for that is I have a responsibility to help my friends and neighbors more than just what's you know on our license serve the public interest convenience and necessity it is really my job to lift as i climb i genuinely believe that and so days like today when we can help our friends and neighbors in need with just a little something like this I, one frozen turkey is not going to break a lot of folks mm-hmm. but it's going to make a lot of folks holidays so that's that that's why i love doing this sort of and stuff. if you're not in a position maybe you're on your lunch hour and you can't run over to uh, bigly piggly wiggly or any mm-hmm. of the other fine grocery establishments we have in the air we kind of like to have people go over there because sure. they're a partnership and that but yeah you know, we'll we'll take what we can get we'll take cash donations as well we've had several people that have rolled in uh well, thanks to those folks that rolled in us a 100 dollar check mm-hmm. we appreciate that we actually sent the the boss uh <laughs> joe parsons out shopping this morning yeah. so the boss the boss the big boss here is out uh, shopping as we speak i kind of like the idea of seeing joe parsons push a buggy yeah. along at uh, bigly piggly wiggly <laughs> but it, yeah maybe you just go around the office or the work site today and you take up a collection and then somebody goes at lunch and and makes this happen whatever we can do to make for a happier holiday a festive feast everyone deserves a little joy at the holidays and so mm-hmm. we're, we're doing our best to make that happen and again this is one of those events we have three or four a year rob where we're all together mm-hmm. all hands I mean, on deck uh we got the folks from v100 that are out there we got the beat we got uh you know uh, the uh, the mountain is that we're all out there yes. all out there today and we'll be until six o'clock uh this evening which is kind of hard on you old uh, old, <laughs> old old morning radio guys because i was one for over 20 years i, I know what now you're talking you're about old. now i'm just old that's exactly what i uh all right uh, so again, uh, kind of recapping here. It's WVRC Media, Charleston, Bigly, Piggly Wiggly, uh, drive through Turkey Drop at our studios, 1111 Virginia Street East here in Charleston. Uh, till 6 o'clock tonight, collecting frozen turkeys to give to those in need this uh, Thanksgiving holiday season, accepting cash to. And what you kind of alluded to there mm. was we were saying, we're kind of keep a running total out there, that for the first 500 people mm-hmm. that uh, that donate, you're going to get a coupon for a free breakfast from Chick-fil-A mm-hmm. in South Charleston or uh, or Southridge. So that's kind of cool. Uh, hands, uh, you know, hats off, hands off, hats off, hands on heads <laughs> to uh, to Tom Mintern and the folks yes. uh, for making all that happen with Chick Fil A. They always do a, a great job taking care. We do some other things with them too, with uh, Free Lunch Friday on ninety six one KWS hashtag shameless plug. That yeah. uh, they 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 do great stuff for us. And it, to, if you have questions about all this that we've been talking about, I know we've rapid fired a whole bunch of things. Uh, I'm I'm used to saying ninety six one KWS dot com. Any of the station websites, mm-hmm. v100.fm, you can go to any of them. All the social media has got stuff. Yeah. It's all right there. Look for that goofy turkey. No, I don't <laughs> mean me and Dave. I mean the actual turkey. And uh, you will find out about the WVRC Media Turkey Drop with the Bigly Piggly Wiggly. All right. Thank I you, pre- Rob, I appreciate you being here. Now get back to work. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a little morning show you do in the basement. You may want to get yes. back down there again. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, unfortunately the kind of music Rob plays doesn't have a free bird or anything for him to put on to come in here and join us. But again, I do appreciate Rob for uh, running upstairs. Now he's got to get back downstairs and hope that his uh, his music didn't come to an end. Uh, it is the uh, WVRC Media Charleston Bigly Piggly Wiggly Drive Through Turkey Drop now at our studios, eleven eleven Virginia Street Eats uh, East here in Charleston. We started at six this morning, and uh, Matt Guitar Murphy was out there then. We had people running as early as six and six thirty this morning we're going to do it till six o'clock this evening the weather if you're looking for a reason to get out of the office today the weather is absolutely going to be fantastic a little chilly right now but it's going to warm up weather's going to be great we'll accept the frozen turkeys we'll accept uh, cash uh, too and remember the first 500 people that donate get a coupon for a free breakfast courtesy of chick-fil-a in south charleston or Southridge. so it's till six o'clock tonight all of our stations are taking part we're looking forward to seeing you there the uh, phone calls that we have to this show are a service of Bigly Piggly Wiggly. When shopping at your Bigly Piggly Wiggly, be sure to join their loyalty program. You can save big at the gas pumps and throughout the store with their electronic coupons.
And uh, free gifts on Fridays just for stopping by from Farm to Table. Bigly, Piggly, Wiggly, the best kept secret in Charleston. Texting service provided by Fruit Pharmacy. Fruit is celebrating their 71st year in business. Stop by any Fruit location, register to win some really cool prizes. They got gift cards, they got television, speakers, gift baskets, fragrance sets, candles, apparel, and more. Winners are chosen at every Fruit location your hometown family uh, pharmacy that is for 71 years as i said coming up a little bit later on the show republican strategist greg thomas is going to join us also standing by in just a bit we're going to talk to chad prather from huntington banks about a partnership with wvrc media our parent company and the uh, special olympics uh some news broke late uh late tuesday night and yesterday and uh, we all know about the problems with, uh, with Manna Meal in Charleston, especially the location directly across the street from us at uh, St. John's. So at some point Tuesday evening, there was a board meeting, and the chairman of the board, uh, Chuck Hampshire, and one other person uh, opted to resign from the board, uh, furthering that organization's uh, issues. Uh, I actually talked with Mr. Hampshire, who's been on the show in the past. I talked to Chuck yesterday. And invited him on the show, uh, but he politely declined, uh, which is understandable. Um, opting, I guess, rather, he, I guess he wanted to wait to see what the next move of the board would be. So we're going to hold off on that until then. Uh, so that is a developing story. But again, two of the top officials are talking about the uh, folks on the board, not not paid officials or anything, people that were on the board uh, for Man Emil opting late Tuesday night, early Wednesday to resign. And uh, we'll have more on that. And Mr. Hampshire has promised me that he will come on the show to talk about it, but that'll be at some time in the future. I ter- certainly respect that. The uh, West Side continues to try to get everyone's gas back on. They had over 200 that, uh, as of early, early this morning when I checked, were back online, well over 200. So that's good news. Still got a long way to go, though. Uh, they had a lot. Uh, happening yesterday. Now, there are further details at WCHSnetwork.com and on the uh, WVMetroNews.com uh, website. The governor yesterday did issue a state of emergency, and there had been some questions about that as to whether what has happened would meet the threshold, uh, The uh, all of the particulars you have to have for a state of emergency. The city of Charleston, people had asked about that, really did not have the authority to do that. It had to come from higher up yesterday, late yesterday afternoon. Press release from the governor came out that uh, he has uh, issued now a state of emergency, which is good news, allows the National Guard and other folks to come in to help with the, with the uh, uh, trying to get every folks, uh, everybody back online uh, over there at the um, uh, on the west side of Charleston. So that's where we are right now. Again, further details available. All of our platforms wvmetronews.com and at wchsnetwork.com as well. The Dave Allen Show on 580 Live is brought to you in part by General Hardware and Lumber of Winfield. From kitchens to paints to decks, straight framing wood, roofing metal, and anything else you may need, you'll find it at General Hardware and Lumber of Winfield. We're going to take a break. And uh, coming up next uh, from Huntington Banks, Chad Prather is going to join us to uh, talk about uh, a, a partnership, if you will, between WVRC Media, our parent company, and the Special Olympics. That's coming up next from the Parmar Store Studio. We're brought to you by the Thornhill Otter Group and the Voice of Charleston, WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses. Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses bring first-class businesses to your community. Get ready to make the holidays bright this year in a brand new Ford with your name on it. Drive on down to the Thornhill Motor Mile during the Ford Black Friday Cellathon and tag yours at Thornhill Ford Lincoln. Slide into the driver's seat of a cutting-edge Ford SUV or new F-150 truck and feel the power of innovation at your fingertips. Be winter-ready and gift-giving in style. We'll even wrap it up with a big red bow if you want. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to come explore all that Ford has to offer with great options for your holiday travels and offers that will keep you smiling well into the new year. This ought to make your season bright. If you come by, visit us online at thornhillford.net and on the Thornhill Motor Mile, U.S. 119 Chapmanville. Visit Thornhill for all details. <laughs> Christmas only comes once a year, so let's start spreading some holiday cheer with a member's choice West Virginia Christmas loan. Now through December 22nd, you can borrow up to $1,500 with rates as low as 5% and up to 10 months to pay back. Get everything on your Christmas list this year and apply today at 201 Ohio Avenue in Charleston or visit memberschoicewv.com. Loans are subject to credit approval. Additional restrictions may apply. Ho, ho, ho! 
Are you worried about retirement? Stike Wealth Enhancement Group is the premier retirement planning service in West Virginia. With years of experience and a commitment to personalized service, we'll work with you to create a customized retirement plan that addresses your unique needs and goals. Whether you're just starting to plan or nearing retirement age, Stike Wealth Enhancement Group makes the process easy and stress-free. Visit stikeweg.com for more information. Securities and advisory service offered through LPL Financial, a registered investment advisor. Member Finner Sipic. Elevators. You take them for granted until they let you down. If you're working to maintain a stellar reputation, then let me introduce you to DC Elevator. We want to work with you to make sure your people get where they are going. What could be better than a new company coming to the area and already having 45 years of experience? DC Elevator is bringing a new culture of elevator maintenance, repairs, modernization, and installation to West Virginia. Don't leave your people hanging. For a free consultation, call DC Elevator at 304-345-7222. 923 Bigly Bigly Wiggly Hotline 304-345-5850 at Fruit Pharmacy Text 304-935-5008. The Dave Allen Show on 580 Live is brought to you part by Bridge Valley. If you're interested in improving your company's IT workforce, well, did you know that Bridge Valley offers custom-tailored IT training to bridge the skills gap? At Bridge Valley, you can train for little or no cost with a 50-50 salary match. Bridge Valley can also supply skilled graduates and apprenticeships for your company. Visit bridgevalley.edu slash apprenticeships today for more information i want to get to this uh just real quick and that is your hometown baseball team the charleston dirty birds uh they got some big goings on over there the dirty birds and salango law present light the night this incredible christmas light display over at uh, gomart ballpark and it's actually going to open up i think there's a media event uh tonight uh hours are going to be from 5 p.m till 9 p.m monday through thursday and 5 till 10 on friday and saturday they will be closed november the 20th the 27th and december 2nd now Coming up on the show tomorrow, we're going to have our good friend Eden Douglas from the Dirty Birds on as my special Friday co-host for Friday Funhouse tomorrow to talk about that big event. But I saw some pictures posted last night, kind of some dry runs they're doing over there. This thing is absolutely incredible. If you're into the Christmas lights, man, you got to get over to uh, to the ballpark and uh, check this out again. It's sponsored by Salango Law, uh, and uh, I'm going to get into that uh, with Eden Douglas coming up on the show uh, tomorrow. Uh, Chad Prather joins us right now. He's the regional president of Huntington Bank, West Virginia. Virginia. Chad, good morning. How are you? Hey, Dave. Good morning. Doing fantastic. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Uh, by now, I'm hoping everyone has seen the video that uh, Metro News was able to work uh, out with Huntington Bank talking about the impact of the Special Olympics, not only on the athletes, Chad, and the families of the athletes, but also the community as a whole. That video, by the way, available on all of our platforms, including mine, Dave Allen Radio and Facebook, and uh, the Dave Allen Show on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. It is uh, pretty powerful stuff, Chad. Very, very powerful. Uh, you know, The team at Pikewood did a, a really tremendous job uh, highlighting the just the great work that the Special Olympics, Special Olympics of West Virginia is doing uh, for those athletes and their families. It you know it highlights a couple of uh, specific stories of of athletes and their um, th- you know th- their journeys throughout Special Olympics and and you know one one of the athletes in particular is now uh, living independently and is a, a, a student at WVU and, and just talks about how you know Special Olympics help frame that for her and get her into a position where she could do that. So it's it's just a really, uh, you know, I think powerful and touching video that, that was done. And, and we were proud to partner with, uh, with Pikewood to put that together. Yeah, and they do some incredible work. And, again, we're a little bit biased here because it's kind of one of our sister companies, uh, Pikewood <laughs> Creative, as part of our, our big WVRC media family here. This uh, program, Chad, is is called uh, West Virginia Enriched, and I know that you folks at Huntington are uh, are a very, very big part of it. Why are you so involved in this? Well, so, you know, the idea came that, you know, uh, you know Huntington, you know, we have a tagline, it's welcome, and it's a, it's a simple thing, but it's welcome to all – and we, you know, we believe that, uh, you know, we need to highlight stories of great things that are happening in West Virginia. You know, we, we hear plenty of things going on in the world right now that could get somebody down or get their day down. And, and uh, you know, just really want to highlight some partnerships that we have across the state, that, you know, things that we support that are just doing really tremendous work that could also utilize some additional support. So uh, so West Virginia Enriched earlier in the year did a, a program with uh, – 
uh, the, the food bank and the support of the food bank with veterans across the states. We have 13,000 veterans who are, are hungry. Um, now we're, we've, we've, uh, you know, released this most recent video that again came out here over the last couple of days and we'd love for everybody to go check it out and, and maybe grab a tissue while you're at it. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty moving thing, but you know, really, uh, Special Olympics of West Virginia is supporting 4,400, uh, you know, children and adults in West Virginia and, and, uh, you know, these, these athletes are, you know, inspiring is the word I use, but it's just an understatement. You know, if you go out and you, you spend some time with them and you uh, attend these events in, in any way or, or certainly volunteer, you're going to walk away feeling better about yourself. It's not, you know, you, you think you're going to go in and you're, hey, I'm here to help these, these kids or help these athletes, but you walk away <laughs> feeling better about yourself because you've been uh, – been a part of it and you know i think i think the world can use a little bit of that right now and chad it's kind of a situation like who's helping who here you know Amen. it's kind of it's kind of i'm a big animal person and it's kind of like who adopted who from the shelter here <laughs> that's Did I exactly you what and, you adopt? and that's and I, I watched some of the videos uh when they first uh, I, I got an advanced copy of them then i watched them again when i was preparing for this show this morning chad as you said get the tissues ready because uh it, it, and the sadness is not part of it it's just inspiring for all of us uh in our day-to-day lives chad yeah it really is it really really is they they uh you know, what's cool about it is the athletes, uh, you know, they, they go by the moniker of the maximum effort rule. And so, uh, every, you know, the, the only requirement is that you give it your all. And, you know, you can see the, you know, the pride that comes through with the athletes as they finish, their families. It's just, you know, it's super touching uh, to be a part of it. And, and really what we hope is that, you know, people will, will look at the video, they'll, um, you know, have the same inspiration that you and I had when we watched it and, and want to get involved with Special Olympics in some way. And certainly they can think they can do that with financial support or uh, or volunteerism, either of which would be, you know, greatly appreciated by the uh, by the Special Olympics of West Virginia. But, uh, you know, really more than anything, just, just want to highlight and raise awareness of, of all the great work that they're doing at that organization and and these these kids and these athletes, it's just uh, it's it's inspiring, as we said. And and Chad, I will say this too: these athletes, and I have known uh, several that have taken part. I've, I know their families. These athletes take this very very seriously. I mean, it's this is an athlete. At the end of the day, it's still an athletic competition, and they, I mean, they they are they are hardcore about doing their best out there. Oh, look, they're they're you know I played sports my. All of my childhood, I coached teams, done different things. These kids are are going, you know, they're, they're training. They're training many times every week. They're working really hard at it. Some of them, you know, hey, let me. Um, some of them are, hey, let me just finish this, and mm-hmm. that's such a huge accomplishment. But but many of them are, let me improve my time and let me, you know, try to win this. And and regardless of what the outcome uh, result that they're they're trying to achieve, every single one of them and their families walk away. Uh, you know, extraordinarily proud, and whether they they got a ribbon or they got a medal or they, uh, you know, whatever it is, and the camaraderie is something that's really great to see too. All of the the athletes coming together to congratulate one on one another for reaching whatever their goal is. It's you know, again, inspiring is the word, but inspiring remains an understatement <laughs> exactly right now uh, we're going to be hearing a lot more about this uh, collaborative effort between uh, our uh, all of our stations and you mentioned pikewood and metro news and all of our stations around the state i know that i, I think i heard you on hoppy's show uh, the other day so you're you're definitely trying to get the uh, word out there about this and we applaud uh, you and we applaud the folks at uh, uh, at your bank for, for huntington there for uh, for making it uh, making it all happen i know you're a, a busy guy uh, and i appreciate you taking time to be here but uh, any any any, any final words before we let you go, Chad? Well, no, I, I really appreciate you having me. The thing that I'd leave you with is just go check it out. You know, I think West Virginia Metro or WVMetroNews.com would be the the place to check mm-hmm. it out. Yeah. It's right there on the, the front page. And, and uh, it's, um, you know, it, it's inspiring. It's something that we really want to get get the word out on all the great work that uh, the Special Olympics of West Virginia is doing. You can look for more of these, you know, that we're going to sponsor. Again, we, we want to highlight the – the work we're doing in the community, but more so the the community organizations themselves and all the fantastic people that they're supporting and, and just wonderful things that are happening in West Virginia in, in a time across the world that, uh, 
you know, we could just use a little bit of that. So, so that's the goal of West Virginia Enriched, and we're, we're really proud to be part of it. All right, Chad. I'll let you get back to work. I appreciate it. We'll talk again soon, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, Thanks for having me. All right, take care. Uh, it's uh, Chad Brather again, the regional president of Huntington Banks, about this uh, program, West Virginia Enriched. And again, urge you to go to wvmetronews.com and check out the video. That's the, As Chad said, that's probably the best place to see it. It's being shared on all of our stations statewide and on our social media. I've got it posted uh, uh, on, uh, on Dave Allen Radio and Facebook and also uh, on uh, the Dave Allen Show on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. It's, uh, it's an amazing thing. Uh, it uh, it really is, and you see these athletes, and you see what uh, what they are accomplishing uh, out there. It's um, it's just incredible. Hats off to the folks at uh, Huntington Huntington Banks for uh, making it all happen. And of course, we are proud with uh, with uh, Pikewood and with Metro News and with all of our stations to be involved in it as well. Twenty eight minutes away from ten. Bigly Piggly Wiggly Hotline three zero four three four five fifty eight fifty eight Fruit Pharmacy Text three zero four nine three five five zero zero eight. The Dave Allen Show on five eighty Live is uh, brought to you in part by Pinnacle Consultants. You know, whether you're replacing a roof, remodeling a kitchen, or replacing a bathroom, to keep it safe and to keep it legal, get with Pinnacle Consultants. They can inspect your site, collect samples, perform lab analysis, and provide results within about a week. Testing all renovations for mold, asbestos, and lead is the law, folks, in West Virginia. Visit uh, PinnacleCorp.net for Pinnacle Consultants because what you don't know can hurt you. we got Greg Thomas coming up here in just a bit. A couple of texts to get to. Uh, already the political text has started. I love it. <laughs> uh, text says, uh, Michael Flynn has endorsed uh, Mac Warner for governor and also uh, the disgraced Derek Evans. What a joke. I wouldn't vote for anyone endorsed by Flynn. That is according to a texter. Text says, Dear Dave Allen Morning Zoo. Apparently, Ryan, we have a, we have a new name for the show. Uh, please give people a 35 second warning before greg thomas comes on so we could turn the show off just as a public service <laughs> thank you dave good show otherwise well i don't know exactly whether it'll be a 35 second warning but i will try my best to give you a warning and i hope that you don't turn it off that's what i've found i've done this show for the past uh three and a half years i guess it has been um is that the people that seem to draw the most heat, as we called it, going back to my days in the wrestling business, that draw the most heat, whether they're far right or far left, those are the shows that people seem to listen to more and more. So, yes, I will give a 35-second warning before Greg Thomas comes on the show uh, so, so you have time to turn the radio off. <laughs> Mr. Thomas is in the building. We're going to talk to him here in just a couple of moments. But I do want to remind you about our uh, turkey drop. It is going on now. Uh, WVRC Media, Charleston, Bigly Piggly Wiggly, teaming up to make this happen at our studios, 1111 Virginia Street East in uh, Charleston until 6 o'clock tonight. Frozen turkeys, cash donations, whatever, we'll take it. First 500 people that donate get a coupon for a free breakfast from Chick-fil-A in South Charleston or Southridge. And it's till 11, or I'm sorry, till 6 o'clock tonight tonight at 1111 Virginia Street East in Charleston. The aforementioned Greg Thomas coming up next from the Parmar Store Studio. It's uh, the Dave Allen Show on 580 Live on The Voice of Charleston, WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses. Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses want to thank you for shopping locally. Ahoy, Charleston. Don't let the off-season keep you ashore. At Trojan Landing Marine, they've got your next adventure waiting. Picture yourself on the water. Even when the sun takes a break, they're making waves with incredible off-season boat sales. From fishing boats to pontoons, find your dream vessel at unbeatable prices. So, visit them in Charleston and talk boats. Trojan Landing Marine, your year-round gateway to aquatic fun. Check out their inventory at trojanlanding.com. They take the hassle out of boating. Get ready to make the holidays bright this year in a brand new Ford with your name on it. Drive on down to the Thornhill Motor Mile during the Ford Black Friday Cellathon and tag yours at Thornhill Ford Lincoln. Slide into the driver's seat of a cutting edge Ford SUV or new F-150 truck and feel the power of innovation at your fingertips. Be winter ready and gift giving in style. We'll even wrap it up with a big red bow if you want. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to come explore all that Ford has to offer with great options for your holiday travels and offers that will keep you smiling well into the new year. This automaker season bright. Click or come by, visit us online at thornhillford.net and on the Thornhill Motor Mile.
Mile, US 119, Chapmanville. Visit Thornhill for all details. It's finally here, the Black Friday event that you've been waiting for. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Hurricane is celebrating Black Friday all month long. Now sit down, because you're going to want to listen up for this. You're not going to believe these savings. If you've been wanting a new Gladiator, then now is the time. Find new Jeep Gladiators right now at Walker with discounts up to $14,000 off. You need something a little bigger, maybe to do some heavy lifting? How about up to $16,000 off a new Ram 2500 Cummins Diesel? If trucks aren't your thing, that's no problem. Walker has Grand Cherokees with up to $6,000 off. But these savings won't last long, so get in to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and take advantage of these Black Friday deals all month long. Just take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Hurricane is celebrating Black Friday all month long. Just off the Hurricane exit of I-64. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time. Bring join today with 580 WCHS and the Bigly Piggly Wiggly at the Turkey Drop. Until 6 p.m., donate turkeys or funds at 1111 Virginia Street to Brighton Holiday Table. 5858 Fruit Pharmacy Text 304 935 5008. The Dave Allen Show on 580 Live is brought to you part by your local insurance experts from Brightway, the Mays Agency of Taze Valley. From your home to your car, even to your pet. Brightway, the Mays Agency, will customize the perfect insurance plan for you at Brightway, the Mays Agency. They aren't just agents. They're your friends and your neighbors. Good local folks to deal with. John and Sherry Mays, 304-814-2509 to visit brightwaymays.com. Mr. Greg Thomas, a Republican strategist. Good morning, Dave. What other what other titles can we come up with? Uh, child advocate. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Help people. like to help people. Yeah. You know. Christian, all the all the stuff. Yeah, all the stuff. Yeah. All right, Bobby. we got, we got all, <laughs> we world traveler, but mainly because <laughs> of your kids being involved in everything. We were talking about off off the air. I just don't know how how parents keep up with everything that their kids do. All right, so since we last talked, there's a lot of stuff I want to get to, and as always, Greg's always open to take phone calls or texts. But since we last talked, Senator Manchin uh, is out of the Senate race. Worst kept secret in the world. We just, it was a matter of when he was going to announce it. Yeah. Some people were surprised by as quickly as he announced it, because he kind of had alluded, it would be around Christmas at some point. And it just, that it didn't surprise people, Greg, that he announced it, but it just kind of came out of nowhere on that particular day. Now you may have had advance notice. I know a lot of people in the media, uh, did not. Now he says, well, he was on hoppy yesterday and he, he may run for president. Your thoughts. Uh, I definitely think he wants to run for president. Um, if I were him, I would run for president. I mean, I think, uh, you know, obviously right now with Trump and Biden, um, they're both polarizing in their different ways, right? So Trump, um, and I'm a Trump person, uh, you know, I got a little soft on Trump there at the beginning of the year because I thought, well, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's just too much, but like, I think there are a lot of people like me in our party that were like Trump people, but it was like, I can't he do it again. And then as the Democrats just kept going after him and, you know, this witch hunt and all this crazy legal stuff they're trying, it really did beef up Trump's support, right? Because it just made his argument for him of like, they're after me because they know I can win and because they know I'm going to, you know, go and stick it to them when I get in there and all that. And and, um, you know, so the Democrats wanted Trump to be the nominee and, and they're going to get their wish. Uh, I think they're going to probably regret that. <laughs> Uh, All this stuff does, Greg, and I've said this, and we could be on different sides of the Trump thing. That's fine. But I will say this. All of this, all this, no matter what happens, all it does is strengthen it. Yeah. Is that if, they're, if they were smart, just back off. He, you know? I, I wish, uh, he, you know, the reality is he's right on issues, right? Like, you may not like the style. You may not like the different stuff. I Look, I don't like the people around him, right? I think they're a bunch of grifters and uh, con artists. Um. But but he's right on issues, right? I mean, he's right, and the things he says about the things he says about people are true. Uh, Biden obviously is way too old. Uh, he's way too old. Uh, heck, even Senator Manchin said yesterday that he's way too liberal. Um, uh, and so I do think there's room for something in the middle. I don't think you can win. I don't look. I don't think Jim. I do not think. Uh, Joe Manchin can win. And I think he knows that. I think he knows that. I, but but I do think there's probably a place for somebody to run 
and say, hey, if you aren't happy with that and you, you know, or if you're not happy with the other sides and you want somebody to come in and have this middle sort of voice, I'm your guy. Um, the trouble that I think he's going to have uh, is, you know, he needs a platform, right? Like when you go run for president, you have to run as a as a party, mm-hmm. right? He can't win the Democratic nomination. I mean, the Democrats in these big states are, are lunatics. I mean, they're absolutely <laughs> insane. I mean, I mean, they are, though. I mean, I, like I'm not saying, look, I think that there are insane Democrats in West Virginia, but I don't think the average Democrat in West Virginia is an insane person. I think the average Democrat in New York City is is – is they don't live in reality. I think the average Democrat in California doesn't live in reality. And so I don't think a Joe Manchin could win a Democratic nomination because those are the people that control their party or those liberal, big state liberals, um, and he'd have no chance. You know, let let me jump in here real quick because I want to mention this, and we'll we'll come back statewide. One of the things that I think, Greg, that's going to be problematic for the Democratic nominee for for Joe Biden is, is the war in Israel. Because last night there was yet another instance of at a democratic function, and I, mm-hmm. I don't know right off the top of my head exactly what what it was that was going on. People there, anti-Israel, yeah, are going after the Democrats right now. I mean, they're I mean, forget about the Republicans. This venom that they have toward Israel is going. They're going straight after the Democrats, and. It's going to be problematic I, I, for Joe Biden on uh, when you when it comes to some of the f- more far left uh, parts of the of the of the Democratic uh, Party. I, Dave, you are one hundred percent right. I mean, for the people that want to say like Republicans have a problem with some of our far right, you know, Proud Boys or whatever, their anti Semitic element of their party is much much bigger than any I, far I, right the right has. I, would I mean, agree. it's it I would is agree. a huge factor. Um, and they are really, really split on the issue. Uh, heck, even what's the uh, Fetterman, the, the Pennsylvania senator? Yeah, he's all John he, Fetterman. He's like way out there. You know, all of a sudden, like this guy's saying stuff I agree with on Israel. You know what I mean? Like, like that's when you know the Democrats are going to have a problem. But do they have some people that are actually being reasonable on this issue or or, or sort of sensible? Um, but they have a lot of radicalized. Pro and, and it's legitimately pro Hamas, which I think is mm-hmm. just an unbelievable thing to to think that there's that much. Uh, dude, th- there's that. Uh, did you see some of the pictures from the San Francisco? Uh, you know, the Chinese president was in town, mm-hmm. and you had all these Chinese flags and all this. I I just don't think I don't think I don't think the average person in West Virginia can has a full grasp on exactly how much anti-American sentiment there is within the Democratic Party from a, in a national perspective. Mm-hmm. I and, agree. We, and whether I agree. it's whether it's the Israel thing like you talked about, whether it's uh, some stuff related to China or some of this other stuff, um, I, I just don't think they realize how um, – and I, I, I don't know. Maybe anti-American is probably strong. I would just say not pro-American, right? There, there really are – Foreign interests, right? There's just so much. I mean, we we're just this globalized country, uh, and there's and especially in these big cities and and whatever. You know, I I just got I just flew back from Atlanta yesterday, and I was down there a few for a few days for a conference, and just even being in Atlanta, man. I mean, the 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 you know foreign influence of everything is just so tremendous uh, that I just don't think the average person here just, we don't see it here, right? It's just not something we see. Um, but I, you know, look back to Manchin. I, I don't. His trouble is he's going to have to have a party, and it can't. It's not going to be the Democrats. It's not going to be the problem with Republicans. So he's looking for this no labels organization that has that that is that has been spending time and money getting on the ballot in mm-hmm. other states. So so he really needs that nomination. His tr- his challenge there is a lot of the people that are within that organization are just anti-Trump, right? And then there's a there's a section of people there's a, there's a group of people within that group that really like believe in the middle middle way cause like a third way sort of effort. Mm-hmm. I think Joe Manchin is ideal for their third wave effort. I think the trouble is there's some people that think Manchin would help Trump, mm-hmm. right? And then mm-hmm. there's some people. There was another U.S. Senate Democrat U.S. Senator that came out the other day that said he doesn't think Manchin should run, but he thought Manchin would help Biden. And I really don't know. I think it's a state by state basis. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's that's a and, very and good dude, point. I, I was just, point. I was just in Georgia, and I'm telling you know those Republicans down there, they don't like Trump, right? Mm-hmm. Remember, they're they're governors in this like blood feud with them and all this stuff. 
I met a lot of Republicans in Georgia this week that were very pro mansion. Like they mm-hmm. wanted him to run. I mean, they were aware of the situation. Mm-hmm. Like they wanted him to run, and they want to vote for him. Mm-hmm. You know, so that that's not pro. That's not helping Trump, right? Right. So I, I think it's an interesting thing. Um, but but I, look, I think Manchin should do it. I think he would like it. Um, I don't think he's going to win. I, I I don't know if he helps Trump or doesn't help Trump. But I you know I, I, if I were him, I would do it. Uh, he likes he likes attention, right? Mm-hmm. He likes attention. He yeah, he does. He's a social guy. <laughs> you know, look, the, man. I mean, would it be fun though, right? I mean, they're, you know, somebody's going to fly you around the country. You're staying at nice hotels. You're yeah. going to these big dinners. Yeah. You're doing this stuff. How do stuff. I sign up? <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. I mean, that's. I look at it. People are like, "Do you think he should do it?" I'm like, "If I were him, I'd do it." I mean, I think it'd be fun. The Dave Allen Show on Five Eighty Live, brought to you part by Meeks Realty Group, as a locally owned real estate powerhouse. They specialize in residential and commercial properties. No property too big or too small for Meeks with their team of the finest realtors in the business. They are your trusted partner in finding your dream home or your dream commercial investment. Call them today, 304-401-1101 or visit meeks.us. Text says, Dave, I can't stand Pushkin, but yet you don't hear any conservatives asking for a notice before he comes on. So tell me again, liberals, who are the tolerant ones? (laughs) Text says, Greg Thomas sounds like he's given a summary of Fox News talking points. Same tired robotic thoughts. I, what I, what about that I just say was a like a, bro, a, a Fox News talking? I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like you, I don't even watch. I, I don't say, watch television. You know Thomas, I don't watch. I don't know, even. I don't watch. I don't Fox, like Fox News. You're not a Fox News fan. I don't. I don't, I, I, I don't watch any cable news. I don't watch Fox News. Like I'm. I'm against the. Uh, I, look, th- look. This is one of the reasons. I. You know. I know I always kind of jab Morrissey here, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh, good. <laughs> um, like, that's the reason I don't support Patrick Morrissey is I don't think Patrick's actually a real conservative. I think what he does is regurgitate Fox News talking points. I think that's the kind of campaign You really he runs. don't like Patrick Morrissey. Well, I, look, I, just, I, don't think, I don't think he actually knows what the governor's supposed to do. I don't think he should run. For, look, I don't, he, he should go run for something at the federal level uh, is what he should do. It's what, he sh- right. it's, what, it's what he wanted to do. It's what he should have done. And I just don't think he should run for governor. I don't think he actually knows what the governor is supposed to do. I don't think uh, I don't think he can get along with people well enough to be an effective governor. Um, and I care about the state. I've been very involved in the conservative movement for almost co- a quarter of a century now here. And um, and I hate to see it get. To, and I, I literally think the conservative movement would be set back with a Morrissey governorship because I think he would be a terrible governor. I think he'd be very ineffective and I think he would set us back. Um, and I think we've made a lot of, you know, we've, we've done it. The, the Republican party has done a lot since we've taken over the control of Charleston. Um, and, uh, from all aspects, right. We've done, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, abortion, uh, we've done a bunch of, you know, constitutional carry and the pro pro gun stuff. We've done stuff to rein in the liberal, you know, union stuff. We've done, uh, we've done a lot of legal reform. We've, we just did a big, the state's biggest tax cut in history, um, we've done a ton of stuff. We've got a lot of momentum, but I do think there's a lot of things that mean need to be done from a, a, a gubernatorial administrative standpoint. And you need a leader that's going to be able to go in and work with everybody to get that done. And it's, it's just not him. And I think that's the thing, right? I think there's a lot of politicians and this isn't exclusive to Morris here, but I, I do think there's a lot of politicians. Um, we have, we have a lot in the legislature just really don't understand state issues. They just got really excited watching Fox news and decided to run for office. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, and, uh, and look, and that's great, right? That's great. I just think once you do it, then you got to kind of reassess and say, okay, you know, now that I'm here, what do I got to do? Right? Like, are there things that come up on Fox news that you can do in Charleston? Mm-hmm. Sure. There are, there's things that come up in Fox news that you can do in any County courthouse or any municipal election. Um, but most of those issues are federal issues that need to be handled at, at that level. Um, and so look, I, I, I just want to see, you know, uh, yeah. It's okay to it's okay to watch Fox News, right? It's okay to watch, you know, it's not okay to watch MSNBC. But like <laughs> it's okay to watch Fox News. It's okay to do that stuff. I just I, I worry about the people that govern from those talking points. And mm-hmm. so when somebody says, Oh, Greg Thomas is doing that, that's literally the opposite of what I do. Yeah. I, I don't like that. I don't I don't do I don't do it. I don't like it. Um L- let me throw out a wild political rumor that mm-hmm. I heard a couple days ago to get your take on. Okay. All right. With Joe Manchin out of the race for Senate now. Yep. Uh, the poll numbers are out. Mark Blankenship's out with the poll. Uh, he talked about it on Hoppy yesterday. If the election were held today, Governor Justice is at 61%. Mooney is at 28%. 11% are undecided in that Senate race. 
what if someone proposes to me the other day, Patrick Morrissey decides not to run for governor and instead runs for Senate? I, you know that rumors out there. I'm not saying he I mean, should. I'm, he should have done it. He should. Just saying. He should have done it to begin with. I, okay. This here. This. It is a good. I, I, look. I don't, obviously, I'm not in the. I'm not in the Morrissey camp, so I can't tell you if that's like has any right. validity or not. Right. Yeah. Uh, but here's why that didn't happen. That didn't happen. And and, and there, actually, you brought up the Mark Blankenship poll, and and Mark did a question on there about. Uh, Club for Growth, right? And Club mm-hmm. for Growth is this big national conservative organization that has come in and was um, had, had said they were going to spend five or ten million dollars for Mooney and five or ten million dollars for Morrissey, and you know they're going to do all this stuff. Uh, they have not spent that money yet, um, and one of the things that they are, uh, but but they came out early to support Mooney. And Morrissey was kind of counting on that group for their support. So that's really why he didn't do it. Like, there's only so much national money to kind of go for the conservative candidate. So he knew he wasn't going to get that. And the deal was, and if you remember, we talked about this before, the deal was, and this is, Morrissey did not want to be governor, but the deal was, okay, hold off, don't run against Mooney, you know, make it the three-way primary, uh, run for governor, we'll support you for that. And then he was going to run against Shelley Moore Capito in the because ne- the Club for Growth people don't like Capito. Mm-hmm. Then he was going to run against her in the next Senate election, and so that's sort of why that didn't happen. There was this like behind the deal, behind the scenes sort of deal, and so that's why that didn't happen. Now that Mooney's so, I, may, I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll revisit it. Maybe well, that group will revisit and, it. And here's the second part, and we got to go to break. What I've heard uh-huh. of part of that is that Morrissey gets out of the governor's race instead runs for Senate. Mooney then gets out of the Senate race and then runs for his old seat against Riley Moore. I, I, I don't give me thirty seconds. I, Riley would beat him, and uh, and I look. I've personally talked to Mooney, and he said he's not going to do that. Okay, so well, they, I, it's yeah. rumors, man. It's yeah. rumors. Nine fifty three. We're back after this on the Voice of Charleston WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tar Family Businesses. Eric J. Tar Family Businesses live to make life better for you and your family. Are you seeking ways to enhance your company's IT workforce? Bridge the workforce skills gap with Bridge Valley's IT training. Elevate your business capability with custom-tailored IT training that empowers your employees with certifications, continued education, and more. The best part? Training is low to no cost to your company. Bridge Valley can also feed a steady stream of skilled graduates and apprenticeships with a 50-50 salary match while training. Visit bridgevalley.edu slash apprenticeships today. Get ready to make the holidays bright this year in a brand new Ford with your name on it. Drive on down to the Thornhill Motor Mile during the Ford Black Friday sell and tag yours at Thornhill Ford Lincoln. Slide into the driver's seat of a cutting-edge Ford SUV or new F-150 truck and feel the power of innovation at your fingertips. Be winter-ready and gift-giving in style. We'll even wrap it up with a big red bow if you want. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to come explore all that Ford has to offer with great options for your holiday travels and offers that will keep you smiling well into the new year. This automaker season bright. Click or come by. Visit us online at thornhillford.net and on the Thornhill Motor Mile US 119 Chapmanville. Visit Thornhill for all details. It's obvious the unthinkable is happening. With all the recent media distractions, most folks never saw it coming. But a few did. Their guts told them something very wrong was going on. And now the headlines are proving them right. The people in charge keep telling you that everything's fine and to stop noticing. But you know better. Folks are investing in emergency food storage. And you should too. My Patriot Supply, the nation's largest emergency preparedness company, are the ones you can trust. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com and secure their best-selling three-month emergency food kits. Each contains tasty breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, averaging over 2,000 calories per day. Get at least one for each family member. My Patriot Supply also sells biomass stoves, off-grid room heaters for when the power goes out, gravity-powered water filters, heirloom seeds, and survival gear that may come in handy soon. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com today. It's time to prepare for what's coming. MyPatriotSupply.com The Dave Allen Show on 580 Live brought to you part by Hudson's Pizza. This month it's your local Hudson's. Get a large 18-inch pepperoni pizza and 10 cheese sticks, only $21.99. Visit Hudson'sPizza.com for details. A couple of quick texts. Uh, Dave, thanks for having Greg Thomas on the program today. He's a man with common sense. Oh, thanks. Ask, uh, text says, ask Greg who he supports for governor. Uh, anybody but Morsi. 
Anybody but Morrissey. All right. You heard it. You heard it in first. I want to turn to the Secretary of State's race. The current holder of that office, Mac Warder, is running for governor. Uh, Greg, we all know Putnam County Clerk Brian Wood was on the mm-hmm. show earlier this week. Uh, he's in, former delegate, House Minority Leader, and head of HD Media, Doug Scaff, is in. Delegate Chris Pritt, le- former legislator Ken Reed. Now it seems another Warner. Former GOP state chair Chris Warner may be eyeing the office. Hoppy wrote about it in his commentary today. He's expected to make an announcement on December the 7th, which coincidentally is the same day of the first gubernatorial debate. They had to form at the Green Bar, but this mm-hmm. is the first actual debate yep. featuring Chris's brother, Mac, uh, who will be on that stage with others. Your take on Chris Warner, Doug Scaff, any of the above for Secretary of State? Uh, I, you know, I know, I actually don't know. I do not know Ken Reed very well. Uh, I know all of the rest of those people personally, and I, and I like them all um i I would say and and look and chris and i chris and i have been friends since 2002 uh so chris and i go way back i think a lot of chris um you know look and i and i like the warners uh that the one thing you know the warners are very though much like a grassroots kind of party driven folks rather than big time fundraisers right i mean fundraising's always been the challenge for them um, but I do think that that they just they just have such a statewide network. They're known as conservatives. They know a ton of people. Um, I think it's going to be tough for the other folks to come in, short of having a lot of money, to be able to run a good campaign against against a Warner. Um, uh, you know, I, I do think you know Kent Reed. Ken Reed has spent some. You know, I don't. He's the one I don't know. Um, he has spent big money on some other races before, so I, I I don't know. I mean, I think he has the potential to put in money. Uh, you know, Scaff's the Scaff family has successful businesses here. Um, you know, I I think Doug uh, Doug would have a chance of spending a lot of money, right? And so that's where you know, if you remember a year ago, and I talked to Hoppy about. Hey, I think if you're running for governor, you got to have a you got to have a million dollars in the bank if you want to run for governor. And I, and I and I still believe that. I think we're almost at the point for these down ticket races for the other constitutional officers, where unless you're a big name like Warner with a statewide network, you're going to have to have a half million dollars. Um, Does Chris Warner hurt he, uh, hurt Mac though? In your opinion, uh, War- I Warner, don't know. Warner fatigue or does it help? I don't know. I, you know, I, I think there's. Uh, I don't know. I'm. I, I just don't know. I, I think. I think there's probably. It helps and hurts with different groups, right? It helps and hurts with different groups. I think there's some people that probably look at it like, hey, um, you know, I, I don't know. I think it helps and hurts. Uh, but I, I look. I think if Ken Reed or um, I think if Ken Reed or Scaff want to have a chance here. They're going to have to spend like a half million dollars. What about Brian? Uh, I, look, I like Brian a lot, and I say the same thing about Brian: is you know, how are you going to go get the? You got to go get the money, right? Mm-hmm. You got to be able to get the money to compete because now you've got somebody with a statewide network. Okay. And be, it, it's uphill for sure, but he's a great guy. All right, Greg, as always, a pleasure to have you on the show. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, don't forget to uh, drop a frozen turkey off on your way out the I door. I didn't here. bring one, but I can. I'll, I'll give something. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he, he has a can of cream corn in his car. He's he's always uh, happy to give. Coming up on the show tomorrow, Eden Douglas from the uh, Dirty Birds, Chris Lawrence in high school football, and Hannah Gardner from the Canal Charles Humane Association with this week's Adopt Me Please Pet of the Week. Turkey drop on our parking lot. I'm headed back out there now till six o'clock tonight, folks, with Bigly Bigly Wiggly. Till tomorrow. Have fun and love somebody. ninety six point five FM Charleston and one hundred four point five Cross Lanes. A WVRC Media Station. We're proud to live here too.